teamwork is the secret of the success. The more collaborative efforts we can put in, the more, the more rate of success we will achieve. So collaboration with different centers, with the foreign uh, institutions, and the collaboration within the colleagues is extremely important. And all our centers are sharing information and other things. The uh, inquiries have a direct uh, link with so many things with our IMD in a similar way. All the centers will have something good to share and supplement with each other, which are very important. And uh, with the kind of support which we are getting from the leadership, from the Honorable Prime Minister, in the days to come, the role of our ministry is going to be much more than what we have and what we are doing right now. Because the way the weather, the, the climatic change which we are witnessing, whether it's in the ocean or in the uh, inland, onshore, offshore, inside the earth, it's all changing so fast. We are observing it with our own naked eyes. Within our own lifetime, we have seen so many changes. So the role of the scientific community will play a critical role. And when we talk about the climate change, it is so fast that sometimes we are puzzled. We even don't know how to behave because the larger pattern is neutralized by some localized phenomenon and some, some activities which occur locally can, you know, uh, do away or can turn around the larger picture which we provide. So when I was in the Home Ministry, I used to ask uh, Dr. Mahapatra, can you predict the uh, cloud burst? So that was around, I think, eight, nine years back when I was in the Home Ministry. He said, sir, it is difficult to predict cloud burst. But carefully, if we see, we can't, but it is not easy. But for that, we have to take certain extensive and intensive steps to see that the requirement is met by that kind of support system. In a similar way, if somebody says, can you predict earthquake? Of course, right now we cannot predict earthquake. But some Jyotishi somewhere will say that earthquake is happening on that particular day. And it creates, you know, TZ amongst the scientific community. Many a time, some Panditji or somebody will say that earthquake is going to happen on that particular day. So, ultimately, everything will fall on the sci scientist. So, but I am very sure that in the days to come, all our seismologic research which is going on will definitely give some clue. We know what is happening, but we can't predict. But prediction is the real success story. Today we are talking about the success of the IMD. It's all because of the predictions. If we are correctly predicting the cy tropical cyclones, all the heat waves, rainfall, everything, it is directly visible and benefiting the people. So the success rate is considered very high. In a similar fashion, the fishermen, now fishermen are very excited, which we launched the app today. Now the fishermen will be precisely aware of when to venture out into the sea and how much fish they are likely to catch. So these are the scientific inputs which we are providing and it is going to have a huge benefits to our economy and that will lead to the prosperity for our fisher works. So all the sectors which we are working as a vast canvas. That is why I said in the beginning I was also not very much aware of the details about activities in this ministry. But there are tremendous success rate if we see each sector wise. So every center I visit, I feel so proud that so much achievements have been made so far, but we are going to achieve much more. 
so on the occasion of the foundation day i feel it is moment to reflect on our journey how much and how far we have traveled and also to assess and also to visualize how far we will have to travel it's a very critical ministry i realized when i visited norway last month the the whole their um, government have put so much of emphasis on the climate on the blue economy the deep ocean activities all the activities in the polar region so definitely now the common man of india are also talking about climate change we just not even a topic of discussion some decades back but now it is a priority for every nation today we should remember some of those who have been pioneering in this respective field some of the scientists some of our senior officers may not be with us today but they have led from the front yesterday in the imd center i saw some of the four former uh, director general's uh, photographs i feel nice because they serve this institution similarly there are always pioneers who had started the mission and we are following them in a similar way the upcoming younger generation will follow the present team so we have to set a mark which uh, our next coming generations will feel proud of us wherever we are in whatever position we hold we will have to make and leave behind some indelible mark to show that we have really devoted our time energy resources for the nation so on the occasion of this foundation day and on the occasion of 75th year of india's independence we all have to set our target for next 25 years as a one medium term goal and beyond that also we will have the long journey but in 2047 where will our ministry be each center must set some agenda so i would like to request all the head of the uh, institutions our directors and senior officers to make a visionary document or visionary some kind of target for each center to be uh, achieved in next 25 years so that when india becomes fully developed country which prime minister has already committed in 2047 where will we be our ministry as a whole will have a vision but each center must set a target and that will be a good benchmark for all of us to follow